Hello, humans. Welcome back to Ask Abby. I'm Addison Smith. My pronouns are they, them, or she, her. Now, a lot of people are not used to that kind of introduction. It's a new way of doing things that acknowledges that we can't always tell from someone's appearance how they identify or how they would prefer to be addressed or referred to. Because it's new, a lot of people have questions about the proper way of doing things, such as Jess M. from right here in the United States. When meeting a new person, let's say at work, church, gym, how and when in a conversation would you like to be asked if you want to be asked about your pronoun preference? I struggle with knowing whether it's respectful to ask and then asking in a way that feels natural to the conversation. Jess M., United States of America. Jess, there's something you need to be aware of. Don't ask for preferred pronouns. They're just pronouns, the proper way to refer to someone. Saying preferred sounds like you're saying that the pronouns are a choice, thus our identities are a choice. They're not, and we're tired of being told they are. Beyond that, it's really simple. If you're not sure what someone's pronouns are, just ask. Now, you can do this as an aside during a conversation. So there we were. What's your pronouns? Yeah, with my shoes stuck in his. Or you can ask them right up front, hi, nice to meet you, what's your pronouns? You can lean over the dinner table and, and with your glass of wine and whisper, what's your pronouns? Okay, that's why I haven't had a date in a while. But for you, Jess, ask when you feel that information will help you be more respectful of someone. Just ask. Or you can flip the script. Introduce yourself with your pronouns like I did at the beginning of this video. That helps normalize people sharing their pronouns. Another way you can do that is by having everyone share their pronouns at the start of meetings. However, be careful where you do this. If you're in a known queer or accepting place, then this should be okay. But if you're not sure, if you're not sure how safe the place is, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. If the place isn't safe, you can end up outing a trans or non-binary person or force them to lie about themselves in order to remain safe, which is very uncomfortable. You're right that asking pronouns can be tricky, but it's not the asking that's tricky, it's knowing when you're in a safe environment. Not for you, but for the queer people who might be outed to people who can do harm to them. As for being respectful, as a queer person, I can't think of anything more respectful. Asking a cisgender person for their pronouns is also respectful because you're trying to assure that you're treating that person as they wish. When you ask a queer person what their pronouns are, you're saying, I see you. I understand who you are. I want to make sure I give you the respect you deserve. When you work to normalize the sharing of pronouns, you're helping make your queer friends' lives a little better. What is more respectful? For many trans people, when you spend your day being misgendered by people you, using the wrong pronouns or honorific, personally, I hate to be called sir, someone confirming your pronouns with you feels like an affirmation of your identity, and that is a great feeling. Asking for someone's pronouns might just make their day. Another aspect that many people overlook is that Asking for pronouns shows that you're not afraid of that person. Many people react with fear or suspicion toward trans people since we are the mythical other. When I'm walking around town, people will stare at me like they just saw a Roswell alien. A simple act like asking for pronouns can show your acceptance of them. Two things to remember. First, you will screw up. I screw up. Accept that and own it. Correct yourself, continue, and try to do better in the future. Many trans people will understand that you're fighting against years of linguistic conditioning. It only becomes an issue if you're trying, if you keep doing it without trying to correct it. Second, I can't speak for everyone, so some people may react badly to this question, but I believe it is still better to have asked. If your intent is to be respectful and accepting, I hope that they will understand that. Okay, I hope that answers your question. The only thing left is the business stuff. So here's me. Thanks, me. And thanks, everyone, for watching this episode of Ask Addy. 
If you want to see more, be sure to click like and subscribe and tap the little bell to find out when new episodes are released. Do it. Tap it. Want to hear your question on future Ask Addy? Then drop me a line at questions at addisonsagenda.com. And speaking of my website, addisonsagenda.com, you can go there to find out how to book me to give a talk at your company or organization, either virtually or in person now. Check out my blog on Medium, where you'll find a variety of articles. Coming soon, you'll be able to subscribe to even more videos, writing, behind-the-scenes content, political and social commentary, photos of my cat, chapters of my upcoming book, and more on a Patreon page. I'll let you know when that's up and running. If you'd like to leave a tip, you can Venmo me, at Addison's Agenda. Links to all this are in the description. Until next time, I'm Addison Smith. Peace and long life. Thank you.